the Minnesota Fighting Vikings and free agent former Browns center J.C. Treader getting together made so much sense that it, it would have just been chef's kiss. Beautiful, right? J.C. Treader, who was a scheme fit, uh, even though he had some injury issues last year, was still uh, a very highly rated uh, center in the game. And he would have brought stability to a position that really was in question uh, over the last couple seasons for the Vikings. And of course, Quasey was in Cleveland uh, with J.C. Treader over the last two years, so he certainly knows him and they go way back. So it all made sense. But of course, they didn't sign him. And he remains a free agent as of right. Meow. But uh, so we're going to go through because even though it makes perfect sense, that's why it didn't happen. I hear five reasons why the Vikings did not sign J.C. Treader. Number one, they hate fun. Fun suckers incorporated. No, 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 no. Uh, number one, age. So, J.C. Treader is 31. He's going to turn 32 in February. Beep, pop, pop, a boop right after the Minnesota Fighting Vikings hoist the Jerome Barty Trophy in Glendale, Arizona. No big deal. Uh, and the Vikings, even though they, they have signed uh, a bunch of free agents that are more stop gag, stop, stop gap guys, really good at talking today. You look at Jordan Hicks, you look at Jesse Davis, uh, etc. You know, the Vikings, if they would have brought Treader in, they were banking on him long term. And looking at his age, maybe like, okay, do we want a, a stop at, a stop gap guy at the pivot? Or do we want to give it a roll with Bradbury? If it doesn't work out, do we go into the draft next year? Uh, who knows, right? But uh, age may have been prohibitive in this spot for J.C. Treader. Next up, reason number two why the Vikings didn't ink up J.C. Quasey knows Treader. Uh, again, uh, that could be positive. That could be negative. Because Quasey, uh, he may love and respect J.C. Treader. But he may know uh, from seeing him in the building, seeing him on the training table day in, day out. It's like, and also talking uh, with the medical professionals, talking with some of his other fellow executives. That J.C., ah, maybe this is it. And even though he had a good season last year, maybe he was being held together by uh, duct tape and paper clips, right? So maybe that's why Quasey, even though he has history with J.C. Treader, even though the Vikings have a need at center, they're like, ah, pass, 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 pass. Uh, next up. Reason number three why the Vikings didn't sign J.C. Treader, those aforementioned injury concerns. So even though J.C. played 16 out of 17 games last year and he only missed one game uh, due to COVID, so he actually missed zero games last year due to injury, uh, he did have significant knee and ankle injuries. He basically didn't practice at all in 2021, uh, but he's a veteran. He just got on the field for game day, and he sucked it up, and that, that's a testament to him. You know, him being on the field and playing at that high of a level, even though he clearly was banged up, you know, respect, man. But, I mean, are you going to bring in a free agent center that you're going to pay decent money and he's basically not going to practice in a new scheme? Are you, are you going to do that? I don't know. So I, I understand from that perspective. Next up, reason number four why the Vikings didn't sign J.C. Treader. They believe in Bradbury. And maybe that belief is real, even though they didn't pick up his fifth-year option because playing, uh, paying Bradbury $13 bucks next year fully guaranteed would have been insane. But maybe... Again, this is a case of mama, I can change him. You know, Bradbury, first three years has been amongst the worst centers in the league, if not the worst. And with the previous regime, they just couldn't coax uh, the best out of Bradbury. I mean, he'd been decent in run blocking. He'd been decent as a leader and calling pa pass protections. But uh, in one-on-one -on -one spots, no, not so much. But whether it's Quasey, whether it's Kevin O'Connell, whether it's Wes Phillips, whether it's Chris Cooper, uh, they obviously believe in Gary Bradbury enough that, hey, they're, we're going to roll into the season with him being the only true center. Now, uh, Jesse Davis and Wyatt Davis and uh, Chris Reed have taken some center snaps, yes. But, I mean, Bradbury's the guy. You know, sink or swim, they're going to roll with the Grim Reacher at the pivot. Lastly, reason number five why the Vikings didn't sign J.C. Treader. I mean, simplest answer. Uh, could have been about the money. Now, even though Treader, for the age and injury concerns, like he probably is still going to get a couple million bucks, whether it's from the Dolphins or another team at uh, TBD uh, down the line. And the Vikings had already spent some money, $3 million on Jesse Davis, uh, $4.5 million over two years for Chris Reed, also Austin Schlotman coming in on the league minimum. So even though in the grand scheme of things, that isn't a ton of money on free agents uh, for the offensive line, I mean, maybe even though the Vikings could have made uh, cap space, uh, maybe they just didn't like, all right, do you want to put flop down four or five million bucks for JC Treader at this point? Nah, 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 nah. So sometimes the simplest answer is uh, the correct solution, and maybe that's what it all came down to. Or maybe it's a mixture of everything. Maybe it's the injuries, maybe it's the age, maybe it is the money, and maybe it is uh, they actually think that Bradbury can step up and be that dude in 2022. Uh, but that's it. Uh, again, 
it, it made all the sense in the world, but it didn't happen. So that's how it would be sometimes. Uh, five reasons why the Vikings didn't sign JC Treader. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull, production value.